Uh, when an unclean spirit comes out of a man, it travels through a dry country seeking rest. And if it does not find it, then it will say to itself, I will return to the house I left when it, and when it arrives, it finds the house standing empty, swept clean and put in order. Now, I, I touched on this, this last devotional, but I, I want to uh, just take a moment and speak about uh, what the unclean spirit is up to. I believe, uh, and this is my thought, this is my opinion, but an unclean spirit searches to find rest by inhabiting a being that has found rest or a semblance of rest. Once the spirit finds uh, an inhabitant, its nature is to change the space that it resides. Did you get that? What the spirit what an evil spirit is looking for is he's looking for a space that he or it can fit in. And just like us, we like being in clean spaces. So the spirit searches for places like our hearts and our minds that are devoid of other things. And just like that spirit is looking for rest, we're looking for rest. And I believe in this very moment, and I've mentioned this, what the Lord has been speaking to me is that God is in the business of cleansing. He's, make, he's making things new. He's giving a worldwide, brand new perspective of, of changing our perspective. I believe in our culture, things are changing. We're seeing things differently, but yet individually, God is cleaning this house. That's what he wants to do at these very moments. And what I'm concerned about, though, is the Lord is going to do something. At the same time, evil will push back. That spirit is looking for the person that finds rest because it wants to find a spirit or a temple or portable temples of the Holy Spirit, this evil spirit or evil spirits or idols or or uh, powers or principalities, they want to begin to reside in a place that is clean. So he's looking for us. He's looking for that. There, It is looking for that place. Uh, man, and, and, and the way that it happens is it's evil spirit can become an idol in the heart of man. And what it wants to do is become a pacifier of that person. When we put idols or we put lower G gods in our life, really what we're doing is we're just <laughs> looking for a pacifier. And, and there's a bunch of 40-year-olds walking around with a nookie in its mouth, figuratively speaking, and that spirit is looking to accomplish that. And so today, I just want to make this one point. That evil spirit is looking to return, looking to return to three places. It's looking for an idle heart to occupy. Or number two, it's, it's looking to reside in a place where a, a searching heart is, a heart that searches everywhere. So this is kind of where we are, an idle heart. Like, like man, everything's been kind of like turned upside down in this very moment. And honestly, I feel like the majority of our hearts have been kind of wiped clean. Our priorities have been kind of repositioned. And this is where the spirit wants to reside. The number two, it's looking to, to look for other spirits. And we're spirit, part, part spirit, part flesh, as I've mentioned. And it's looking to kind of go on a journey together. So it's number two, looking for a searching heart. And number three, it's looking for the acting heart. It's looking for people who are putting a mask on and are trying to fake it to make it. And I just want to remind you today, man, that God is in the business of cleaning this house. And God is calling us to manage that heart, this house, and to keep out what he made clean. Does that make sense? He he wants for us to continue to lead in, to lean in. There's this scripture where it says that God is knocking on our doors. And he's asking, will you let us in? God has cleaned our house. It's time to let him in. Allow Jesus to walk in, the Holy Spirit. 
to abide in this portable temple of the Holy Spirit and let the Holy Spirit stay, that he'd become our guide, that he would become our helper, that he would become our housekeeper. So I just want to encourage you today that the little G's, the idols, uh, those, those outer sources that have no power but, but are looking for a position that we are to fight adamantly with the help of the Holy Spirit to keep them out as life becomes normal again.